Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics for You. And in this video, we are going to discuss, or uh, we can say, the last article of this particular first unit, that is motion of a body near the surface of Earth. Right. So <coughs> obviously, here we will consider a body which is moving very close to the Earth's surface, very close to the Earth's surface. Right. And how it uh, performs its motion and how will be the change in its kinetic energy and potential energy and in all in all we can say the change in its total energy that what we have to see in this particular article okay now uh, instead of wasting time let us begin with this particular article motion of a body near the surface of earth as we know that the radius of the earth is around 6400 kilometer or we can write it as uh, 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter right and when we are talking about such a large radius then we can have the value of acceleration due to gravity that is the value of g to be same for few kilometers from the earth surface that means when we are going now let us consider this is the earth surface okay this is earth surface initially the body is at the on the earth surface and and since uh, the body has raised to a certain kilometer height, then the acceleration due to gravity nearly same. It remains nearly same. Okay, that is what the meaning. Because from the center, we are talking about actually who is pulling his body towards the earth. Actually, it is the center of earth. And at the center of earth and the surface of earth is near about 6400 kilometer away from each other right so due to that we can say uh, for few kilometers above the earth surface also we will have the same value of acceleration due to gravity that is of our g and we know its value is on the earth surface it is 9.8 meter per second square or in cgs we know it is 918 80 centimeter per second square that is what the value of g and for few kilometers you will find the similar value not for all the not for a whole uh, height we can say but for few kilometers maybe now let us consider a body of mass m which is raised now i will just draw this diagram one more time with this particular uh, credentials what we are talking about we are talking about the body which is of mass m and yes we will consider which is above the earth surface now see here this is the radius of earth Okay, this is earth friends and yes, let us consider this is height h, the body of mass m is here at certain height, this should be a straight line, at certain height h and then it is falling from that point, initial we can say this is initial point and whatever may be the surface of earth that is the final point at which it will reach. So this body of mass m be situated in the rest position at height h. So let us say initially it is at rest position at height h and above the earth's surface. So suppose the potential energy of the body is 0. Obviously when it, we are talking about uh, the earth's surface, we are talking about the earth's surface here, how much will be the potential energy? Potential energy will be 0 because there is no height on the surface of earth. So potential energy is 0. Now let us consider x, x direction, this is x direction we are considering uh, which is moving or which is in upward direction and exactly it is normal to the surface of earth, normal to the surface of earth we know it is perpendicular to the surface of earth and it is in upward direction that is what we consider the x axis, okay, right. Now if the body starts falling from this height, if the body starts falling from this height h what happens actually right at any instant at height x now let just uh, instead of considering the height x only we will consider any instant in between instant let us consider and where the height is x at this instant now the body starts initially the body was at rest but uh, when body starting its falling motion and at any instant uh, above the earth surface at height x we know that when the mass of m is getting pulled towards the earth surface uh, there will be a work done by the force, gravitational force and how much will be the gravitational force experienced by that body if m is the mass and it is pulling towards the earth surface then obviously it is experiencing the gravitational force that is equal to its weight 
and that is nothing but m into g but yes obviously since x is in upward direction and this gravitational force is in downward direction that's why we can take the gravitational force in negative sign with negative sign only it indicates the direction we know that force is a vector quantity which should be uh, analogous or which should be along with the direction so minus mg is the gravitational force and that force is doing work to pull the mass or to pull that body towards the earth surface and since uh, the x is the distance or x is what we can say uh, height above which we are talking about at any instant so both these things are uh, opposite in nature that's why we have considered the minus mg gravitational force so in that process that means this mass m is pulled towards the earth surface with this gravitational force i will name it as fg or f capital g gravitational force minus mg this force is actually doing the work so that work done we will write here this is so work done by that gravitational force above the height x and it has been started its journey from h point so initial point is h and at any instant we are talking about at the height x so limit of the integration should be h to x we know that and obviously f dot dx right so obviously force and both are having 180 degree so or we can say angle 180 degree that's why also we can say here is a negative sign or if you just want to talk in terms of the vector times then it is minus mg and dx force i h to x and if we take minus mg as it is and the integration of dx will be x and their limit are h to x so if we substitute the limits then x minus h so what we got is the work done by the gravitational force on the body of mass m at an instant x so it is simply w is equal to mg mg in bracket h minus x name it as equation number 1 this equation we required further so name it as equation number 1 that is the work done by gravitational force on the body of mass m at an height x at an instant height x and when it has been started its journey from the height h g is what our acceleration due to gravity okay now when we are talking about this work done so this amount of work done on the body will increase its kinetic energy yes or no yes obviously this work done is only necessary because now see here this is the earth surface and this body is getting pulled towards the earth's uh, earth surface we can say or oh, it is actually getting pulled towards the center of the earth but we are talking about earth surface and this gravitational force is doing some work done and that work done is only responsible to increase the kinetic energy to increase kinetic energy of the body that means as the body is coming towards close and close to the earth surface its kinetic energy is increasing so we can write uh, by our work energy principle work energy theorem so change in kinetic energy can be written as the work done that is what we have seen work energy principle i hope you know delta k is nothing but work done delta k means change in kinetic energy final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy but initially the body is at rest position that's why the initial velocity of the body is how much initial initial velocity is zero body is at rest position that means initial kinetic energy is also zero and therefore but finally we have v is the velocity at the x instant and that's why half m v square minus zero this is for initial and therefore work done uh, by our work energy principle or work energy theorem simply we got w is equal to half m v square okay now let us uh, combine equation 1 and 2 or we can write equation 1 becomes how equation 1 becomes c uh, equation 1 w is equal to mg h minus x but what this w we got in equation number 2 it is half m v square so therefore equation 1 we can rewrite as instead of w i will write one more term here if you want so w and that w is nothing but work done by the gravitational force but by the work and energy principle we got that is half m v square is equal to this side as it is m g h minus x or we can just to increase one more step separately multiply m g h minus m g x right now just rearrange the things take this minus m g x to the opposite side and write this m g h as it is but we will write first of all that to the left hand side so m g h is equal to this half m v square is as it is and this minus m g x becomes 
plus m g x. So, this is an important equation name it as equation number 3 which gives us the relation between m g h that is potential energy at height h and m g x and the kinetic energy ok. Now, but the body when we are talking about the position x means when we are uh, saying that the body is situated at the height x has the potential energy is equal to m g x yes or no when we are talking about any height. So, if m is the mass and if that body is at x height above the earth surface then obviously its potential energy will be m g into x on the earth surface it is 0, but at certain height uh, whatever may be the height into the weight m g or m g into x it is the potential energy of that body and this implies that initially body has no kinetic energy, but only the potential energy and that is m g h when we are talking about the initial point we know the initially means at height h at height h the velocity is 0 that means that means kinetic energy is 0, but the potential energy is there because of height. So, therefore, the potential energy or the total energy we can say kinetic energy is 0 therefore, total energy is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy, but here uh, the kinetic energy is 0 therefore, the total energy will be m g h and that is nothing but our potential energy right. So, let us write that for the total energy equation and thus initial total energy initially when it has been started its journey from height h at this point from this point. So, total energy will be kinetic energy plus potential energy, but as we said that kinetic energy is 0 initially and the potential energy is m g h and therefore, the total energy of the body initially is nothing but simply potential energy that is m g into h name it as equation number 4 ok. Now, at any position x now in between position we will talk about this is what happens initially initial position the total energy we found it as m g h. Now, at any position at any instant x total energy will be again sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So, kinetic energy half m v square because at an instant x the body does have some velocity v right and height is x therefore, potential energy is m g x just we talk about that potential energy is m g x at any instant at any height x and the kinetic energy is half m v square, but now recall the equation number 3. So, in equation number 3 we found that half m v square plus m g x is nothing but what it is also m g h. So, half m v square plus m g x instead of that we can write it as m g h ok. So, that m g h and this is what the total energy of a body at any position x equation number 5 ok. Now, we have seen the initial position and in between position let us talk about the final position that means when body reaches at the earth surface. So, when the body is reaching at the at, uh, earth surface what will be the value of x? x is 0 obviously. So, since we are talking about this, so already we talk about this as a x, but when body is coming towards the earth surface and as soon as it hits the earth surface x becomes 0, x becomes 0. Therefore, again the total energy can be written as sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So, kinetic energy will be half m v square plus 0, but at x is equal to 0 kinetic energy is nothing but what m g h at m x is equal to 0 kinetic energy is m g h. So, therefore, half m v square that is kinetic energy and it can be written as m g h ok. Now, see whatever may be the position of particle whether it is initial whether it is in between position x and whether it is final position. So, what actually we found is the total energy is nothing but m g h m g h and m g h. So, irrespective of the position of a body when the body is freely falling what actually happens here which motion is here the body is freely falling falling from certain height and we found that the initial final and an in between total energy of the body remains same. Hence, the total energy of the freely falling body initially, finally and at any instant or any middle position is the same or in other words we can say the sum of potential energy and kinetic energies of a freely falling body remains constant throughout its motion.
yes so yes boys this is what the important thing we should remember when we are talking about the uh, motion of a body near the surface of earth or we can say this article also the free fall or uh, motion of a freely falling body so what we found the final conclusion is it's a total energy total energy of initial position is equal to total energy at final position not only that much but the total energy in between also in between the path or in between the motion so when it happens or for which it happens it happens only for freely falling body or free falling motion of a body right so this is what the conclusion of today's class or today's video right so yes friends this is all about uh, this video motion of a body near the earth surface and i hope you got the points if you have any doubt you can post in the comment box otherwise if you feel this is a value addition to your knowledge then like our videos and for more such videos subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that uh, as soon as i will post my new video you will get the notification and yes don't forget to share with your friends so that they can also have the access to these type of videos basic knowledge and yes this is okay right so we'll meet in the next video with very uh, with new concept new article till then uh, keep learning keep watching and take care thank you thank you so much